Okay, so today we're going to talk about counting on fingers. So here are my two hands here. Now, um, Americans typically count starting with their index finger on each hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, Germans typically count starting with their thumb. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but I count on my fingers a little bit differently, taking sort of the best of both worlds. Um, and I developed this system when I was playing baseball. I would help count pitches. Um, and when counting pitches, you need to count uh, a lot higher than 10, but counting on your fingers helps with remembering where you are in your count if uh, there's an interruption or something exciting takes place in the game. Uh, etc. So the counting system I devised starts the American way um, and then continues with the German way and it uses the right hand for the ones place and the left hand for the tens place so that I can get up to 99. Here we go. So we start with zero and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and instead of going back to 5 to make it 10, this goes to 0, and this pops up as a 1. And then we continue. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then it continues by and the 10 side by 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then when you get up to 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and at 100, it goes back to zero. And for baseball pitching, where pitchers typically throw 100 pitches or less, um, this counting system works really well. And it only rarely gets to the triple digits, so if it ever goes back from 100 to 101, I just remember that I already counted on all my fingers once through. Um, the advantages of this system for me are that, say I have the, the, uh, the, the pitcher is at uh, 30, let's see, no, uh, this is 93. Let's say it's at 93, and I go to scratch my arm, and then I come back and my hands flip over like this, all of a sudden, I forget where I was in my count. Well, I look down and I see, oh, it doesn't matter whether my hands are this way or this way. The same fingers are up each way I turn my hand. So I can end up, since left is always the tens place for me, and right is always the ones place, I'm easily able to go, okay, so I have nine and three. I just remember this goes 6, 7, 8, 9, 93. So that's the number of the pitch I that, and then if the pitcher throws another pitch, up to 94. But if the, if the uh, coach pulls him from the game and puts in a new pitcher, count goes back to zero. So that's the, uh, that's the way I count on my fingers. So I guess I can turn it like this as well. So I, I would count with my hands facing this way as 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Another cool thing with this is that even if it's not um, counting baseball pitches, say I had to remember a number temporarily, um, and the number was uh, thirty-nine. So we have thirty and nine, I can just put my fingers like this. I can go walk on over to wherever I need to remember the number for. And then I look down at my hands and say, oh, I got 39. And then I can write the number down. And then I can quickly forget about it. But I didn't forget about it during the time frame that I needed to remember it. So it's great for temporary number remembering as well as for counting on one's fingers over a prolonged period of time. So. Anyway, that's my counting on my finger system. There are many other ways of doing it. 
Um, I know I've seen some people like to rack up the number of possibilities by using sectors of their fingers and a thumb as a pointer. Um, that doesn't work for me as well because sometimes I might, my thumb might slip or I might have my hand turn over and, and f forget whether I'm, I'm on this sector or this sector or, or you know, my, my fingers are more likely to get out of place if I try sector counting, whereas if I just try digit counting, it's less likely for these fingers to suddenly slip down. You know, it, this is a two no matter how you slice it. So, how you position it, I should say. That was a <laughs> poor choice of an idiom there. Anyway, um, so that's my counting on my finger method. Um, I just thought I'd share since some people were asking me about how do I count on my fingers and uh, I do it a little bit differently than most people do at this time. I don't know, maybe this system will get adopted around the world and people will be counting like this on their fingers all the time. Maybe not, but that's just how I count on my fingers. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.